Welcome to our Converged Protocols and Multimedia Collaboration module. There are several benefits of IP convergence and standardization. We no longer have to use proprietary standards that are competing with each other. There is very good support for multimedia applications. And vendor independence allows you to use different devices, networks, and technologies to build one unified infrastructure. This provides more flexibility and scaling and makes it easier to manage. You can use QoS or quality of service based routing to prioritize your time sensitive traffic in order to make sure the quality of your voice over IP calls and your video conferencing is not degraded when there is a lot of traffic on your network. It also makes it easier for you to provide more robust end to end security and allows you to reduce your costs of your hardware and to accomplish your goals without taking up as much space. Fiber Channel over Ethernet, or FCOE, allows fiber channel traffic to be transmitted on 10 gigabit Ethernet networks. There are several advantages of fiber channel over Ethernet. It is a very robust solution that can use your existing operating system drivers, your existing fiber channel security and management model, as well as making your storage targets available on a native fiber channel SAN through a fiber channel over Ethernet forwarder, or FCF. There is some challenges with fiber channel over Ethernet, however. You must be on a DCB or data center bridging enabled network, and it requires converged network adapters or CNAs and DCB enabled switches. You will also need a fiber channel forwarder device or FCF, and it will require you to validate your new infrastructure. iSCSI, or the Internet Small Computer Systems Interface, is an IP-based storage networking standard for linking data storage facilities. This allows you to use standard Ethernet switches to allow multiple clients to access your devices at the same time using TCP IP protocol. This will emulate the high performance local storage bus over a wide range of networks, creating a SAN or storage area network. This can be routed and run over your existing IP infrastructure, so you do not need to use any dedicated cabling. In order to improve your performance, you should use iSCSI on a dedicated network or subnet, either a local area network or a virtual local area network. For the CISSP examination, you should remember that iSCSI is easier to configure than fiber channel over Ethernet and is also less expensive. However, it is not as fast and not as secure as using fiber channel over Ethernet. Multi-protocol label switches, or MPLS, are able to replace Internet protocol and encapsulate Internet protocol packets inside MPLS by adding labels. This can allow routing to be done faster when the labels are able to determine the path that the data should take. MPLS uses label edge routers at the borders of your MPLS domains to determine the routing of packets. MPLS provides quality of service or QoS and network routers can run MPLS software on your wide area network. If you have higher quality internal LAN switches, these may also be MPLS capable. MPLS switches are able to forward many different protocols, including Ethernet and ATM or asynchronous transfer mode. They allow for variable length frames and they're more efficient than ATM cells alone. MPLS switches are considered faster and more secure than regular routed public IP networks such as the internet. And they allow you to build virtual private networks for your local area network and wide area network traffic. Voice over Internet Protocol or Voice over IP technology allows you to take phone conversations and transmit them over TCP IP networks in real time. This can reduce your expenses for phone calls and also allow you to have many more features. Traditional analog phone signals can be transmitted over Ethernet LANs and IP based wide area networks. Voice over IP phones are able to convert analog voice signals into digital packets or frames to be transmitted through TCP IP. Traffic shaping or quality of service or QoS is needed to provide lag free communications and you should remember that for the CISSP examination. There are also some security threats to be concerned with with voice over IP, the most significant of which is sniffing eavesdropping, or recording of your private conversations. 
You can use encryption technologies to prevent this threat from occurring, and you should remember these threats for the CISSP examination. You may also have to be concerned with toll fraud, where individuals outside your company are stealing long-distance access, distributed denial-of-service attacks, or DDoS, where individuals attempt to take your phone system offline, spit or spam over internet telephony, where individuals use data voice dialers to ring multiple numbers and spam individuals, and voice phishing or vishing, where individuals call and attempt to trick the person answering the phone into providing some sort of task or service that is not authorized. You do have some security issues to be concerned with when you are using voice and multimedia collaboration services. When you're combining technologies over internet protocol, you need to make sure that you are providing proper security for these technologies. Teleconferencing is where individuals can communicate live, face-to-face, -face, over internet protocol using things like Skype or Link. These technologies might use multicast traffic in order to reduce bandwidth, and you could use encryption to provide security, but this could cause an unacceptable lag in the communication. You should also use quality of service or QoS to make sure that this traffic is prioritized so your users do not experience lag in the communication. Webcams or internet cameras can pose a security risk because they can be activated by an attacker without the user knowing that the camera is activated. If this occurs, the attacker may be able to see what's going on in the room where the individual is located and may also be able to hear what's going on in the room. Instant messaging or chat allows individuals to send notes back and forth between their coworkers or other friends. This can be a very convenient technology, however, there is not much security in place with instant messaging because there is typically not authentication, virus scanning, or encryption built in. Individuals can transmit viruses and other malicious software through instant messaging without being detected, causing a risk for your employees using the technology. This concludes our Converged Protocols and Multimedia Collaboration module. Thank you for watching.